What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Soli Outdoors. I'm Zach and today we're back out on Little Lake Butamore. It is February 4th. Um, I was out here a few days ago and the perch bite was just insane. So um, obviously word must have gotten out. Um, got a lot of uh, a lot of vehicles here in the parking lot today. So. Um, it's midday. It's like noon right now. Um, so I'm parked out on the road. It's not a huge deal. But on my way out here, I drove over the bridge and saw it looks like a looks like a little village out there on the ice. So um, I'm gonna have to find a spot to sneak in. Um, I'm gonna try to get after perch. Uh, my brother and a couple of his buddies are out here right now, and they're getting bluegills. Um, I like catching bluegills. Love eating bluegills. I've caught a lot of bluegills this winter kind of want to get on some perch again but we'll go check it out so stay tuned guys look at these hooligans what do you think they are would you get your limit got all the fish already. yeah all right so we were you we off my youtube land that's my brother this is isaac this is my friend co-worker sawyer sawyer but, uh, we were all putting ways. Yeah, I saw you when I <laughs> drove over. <laughs> but they just come screaming in and just inhale it just like that boy this guy's jacked up open your mouth open up yeah see little guy bye buddy hard to even try to keep it away from the little ones right now because they just come in so fast. change my camera setup all the fish that come in have been coming in from behind the camera swimming past the camera and then hitting my bait I might have to face it the other way so I can see them coming in better if that's how they proceed to keep coming in He came in behind the camera again. 
Biggie's looked on camera, but he's not dead. So I just got my camera switched around. Look at the size of that guy. I've, uh, I was just talking to my brother about this today. I've never got a crappie to bite here before. And this guy, oh, hook just came up. But he slammed it. Look at this. What a nice fish. It's beautiful. Yeah, I, I was just talking to my brother about that on the way out here. And I've always seen crappie here. And I can never get him a bite. Usually I'm fishing in the middle of the day, which probably doesn't help, but I wish I had, wish I had the underwater camera running because he just came in and he didn't even miss a beat. He just slammed it. All right, guys, what I say every time I'm here, look at, look at the size of that pike down there. That's the kind of fish that makes you think twice about swimming in spots like this. It's a big one. That's a really big pike. That was a... I had a hunch there was a pike down there because the panfish kind of dissipated. Usually when that happens, there's, you know, predators around that. It's a big one. Big boy. That's what I get for not paying attention. I thought he hit and missed. I didn't realize he still had it in his mouth. Angry birch, angry, angry, angry birch. See, dude, calm down, calm down. You're gonna get high blood pressure. Spill there for a little bit. Finally, had a school of perch show up. Oh, there's still more down there. First one I pulled up was pretty nice though. Nice looking fish. Oh, here we go. Nice one. Nicer at least. Oh my god. 
gosh, is he even gonna? Oh my heck. There we go. That's a stun. It's a really nice one. from the size of a monarch caterpillar. We're gonna see what this can catch. Here we go. That's nice enough. here and then none of them are going to bite. Sunfish, though. They have such cool colors. So naturally, every time I got the camera off, I end up getting a real nice one that comes in, which. Yeah, it's not on camera, but I can't complain because I got one for the bucket. So. <laughs> I was monkeying around with the camera and I got a super nice pike down there right now. Like that thing, that's that's the second really nice one that's come through. Funny, funny story about that, I was gonna pick up some minnows and set up tip ups and then that didn't happen. I kinda wish I had no. If 
finally got the bigger one instead of the small one. they're doing just as good as the wax worms. It's been kind of slow the past half hour or so. I've had, you know, a couple fish come through here or there. Um, I just missed one. It was a pretty nice one, actually, and he bit good and the hook just came out of his mouth. school to come through. so scary. It's just coming out of nowhere. <laughs> he did not like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this guy. Obviously, I've switched back, back to the wax worm. I think it gives it more action. Like they can see it better from further. I don't know. Maybe that's wrong, but it seems that way to me. But. Well, guys, pretty soon the light is going to be dissipating pretty fast. So the camera quality is going to go down really fast. So hopefully we can pull some more in while it's somewhat clear.
pretty nice one. He's going in the market. I think that's number 15. pretty slow out here um, the fish that I have had come in they'll come in maybe one or two at a time they've all been at like that seven seven and a half inch mark so um, yeah it, it's winding down so I might uh, I'm gonna start packing up actually there's a, there's a fish on the screen right now oh, perch Comes. Oh, oh, got a big one coming in. There we go. It's a pretty nice one. Um, he's gonna make number 18 in the bucket. What do you think about that, Mr. Perch? He doesn't think it's a good idea, but we're not gonna listen to him. He's going in the bucket. So, yeah, I'm gonna start kind of packing things up here. I'm gonna keep my line in the water for a little bit yet, but um, yeah, just wind it down. So. Alrighty, well, figured I'd uh, kind of end the video at home here and give you a better look at the. Uh, today's catch ended up with um, 17 perch and one crappie um, all those perch are right at about eight inches some a little bit over you know there's some pretty nice ones in there like this is a it's a nice looking perch here and that one But yeah, um, that's going to do it for today, guys. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys like what you're seeing, uh, please like and subscribe because um, that helps me out a lot. And we will see you next time.